Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are looking at a very interesting question from CAT 2019 quantitative ability section slot 2. The question says if 5 raised to the power x minus 3 raised to the power y is equals to 13438 and then another expression, then x plus y equals to what? Now, I have seen students actually try to visualize this question as the question of exponents radicals and then use algebraic methods to calculate the value of x and y which is not bad but then i would like to introduce the idea of numbers i can also say one thing at this stage that this method which i am going to explain may not be optimal for a learning purpose but then it i am pretty sure that it is very much optimal for a test taking purpose so the first thing that i want all of you to recall is that the power cycle of five and you need to understand that the power cycle of 5 says that any number which is raised to 5 will end in a uh, unit digits of 5. Okay. The number that is given to us here has already a unit digit 8. So we just need to calculate the number for this 3 raised to the power y. What is going to be the unit digits of this number? If you pay some attention, you would realize that obviously this number is going to be 7 because 15 minus 7 is equals to 8. Half of the battle is won so far. What I need to know further is the power cycles for 5. Because I need to compute a number which is comparable to this 13,438. So let us write a couple of numbers. So 5 cube is 125, we know that. 5 raised to the 4 is 625. 5 raised to the power 5 is 3125. So far we know these numbers. 5 raised to the power 6, we don't know. I don't know but I can see that it is 15,000 something. 15,000 something with a unit digit of 5. That is important for me. Okay. And why am I stopping at this? Obviously because this 15,000 is comparable to this 13,438. Okay. Now, the next part is calculating that for the y or other 3 raised to the power y so for 3 cube we can say it is 27 simple 3 raised to the power 4 is 81 3 raised to the power 5 is 243 these are the numbers that again we remember pretty handy 3 raised to the power 6 we know is 729 3 raised to the power 6 uh, 7 is I don't know the exact number, but at this point I can see that it is going to be 2100 something ending in a 1. Okay. Sorry, ending in a 7. So, 2, 1 something ending in a 7. Okay. If you just pay some observation or if you are observing at so far, you would realize that 15,000 minus 2100 would fetch us this number 13438. So, what I can say is, this x is nothing but 6 and this y is nothing but 7. So, the question that has asked us what is the value of x plus y, we could have directly written this thing as 13. Okay. But, if you have to verify and I think you should verify because in an exam condition, what is the purpose of this part then? So, for verification purposes, what I will do is, I would try to plug in the numbers, okay. So, let me just erase this part. So, here it is saying 5 raised to the power x minus 1 which is going to be 5 raised to the power 5 plus 3 raised to the power y plus 1 which is going to be 8, okay. Alright. Now, if you remember, 5 to the 5 we have already calculated that is 3125. 3 to the 8 we don't need to calculate but we just need to appreciate what the number could be. The number is going to be 2 multiplied by 3 which is 6000 something, 6000 something that is ending in a unit digit. This is very important, unit digit 1 because 3 sevens are 21 so unit digit will be 1. Now the only thing that you need to check is 6 plus 3 is 9 and the last digit 5 plus 1 which is 6 so in fact x equals to 6 and y equals to 7 does match this criteria also 
this is one of those methods i will also recommend that you in a exam condition you can eliminate the verification process and you can if you are confident with your learning you are you can actually go with this thing without even you know doing this verification business it is just to make certain things clear to you i am using this verification method i hope this made sense to you if it did you know the drill if it didn't made sense then you can always comment your thoughts thank you